Hello, my precious! Welcome to my channel. My name is Aphrodite and I am an intuitive tarot reader and clairsentient. Guys, if you are new, consider to subscribe and if you are my subscriber, welcome back! Today's theme is how your crush views you. I am presenting you three choices. For the option one, we have clear quartz. For the option two, we have citrine or yellow quartz. And for the option three, we have rose quartz. Guys, make your choice and I will proceed. Call upon my guides, your guides, my high self, your high selves. Please bless these readings with protection, love, grace, clarity and compassion. Thank you. So let me start with a clear quartz option. Precious, if you chose clear quartz option, welcome. This is your reading. Let's start. Let's see how your crush views you. Let me pull three cards first and we will start. So we have the chariot, the champion archetype, the world, and we have the four of cups. So it feels like you are resisting something. They see you as someone who is trying to move away, to break a cycle, to start something new, to end a chapter, to start a new one, uh, maybe with them, maybe with someone else or within your life in general. There is a chance that you are relocating or moving out, moving in to some place, some new place, maybe you're starting something new, new project, new job, new endeavor, or you are about to go on a vacation, maybe you are going on a trip or something like this, because we do have two cards that signify big change, big movement, and this is how they see you, that you are not quite emotionally available right now, because we do have the Four of Cups, as an ending of this presentation and this is the energy of someone who is too busy with other stuff to accept someone's cup of love you are refusing it's not the refusal a refusal it's just you are too busy with other stuff and this cup of love is something that is too much you know you don't have time for this you know you don't have time for this nonsense so to say right you you have other things that you need to to address in your life maybe you are moving away you know maybe you are starting something new something big and all your energy and all your time and all your um attention goes into something else not love not them at least this is how they see you, right? This is how you present yourself. Maybe through the social media that you have a lot of stuff going on, that you are extra busy with a lot of stuff because the world can signify the window into your life through the internet. Maybe this is an internet connection, social media connection. Maybe you are connected through the internet maybe through the dating app, maybe through the Facebook or something like this. This person is watching you through through something, through something, right? On their phone screen, on their laptop. This person is watching you doing all the stuff. Things are going on for you. They, they see it, they feel it, that you are achieving something as well, something big. And you have everything that you need in your life and that you want in your life. Because the chariot, it's a very balanced energy of someone who, who is in peace, who, who is in the middle, right? Not uh, in despair. This is the representation of this uh, dark horse, which is the negative side. Not in, uh, not in um, how to say that? In the maniac episode with this light horse, you know, when person is just having fun and uh, focused on 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 only only satisfaction of um, 
of basic needs, you know, instant gratification we have here, access, ex access of stuff, access of stuff, right? You are right in the middle, you are in control, you trust yourself, you know, things are going well. This is how they see you, that you are right in the middle and you don't really need much for yourself because you already have it all and with the world yeah you achieved something and now you are open um open to receive a new blessing or a new start of some sort of a new start of some sort and they're watching you going through this change and they feel as if you just don't have time for them. Maybe they asked you out. Maybe they have been thinking about asking you out on a date, on a drink date, on a coffee date. We do have the cups. Maybe you refused a few times. Maybe you refused recently. Or they are afraid to be rejected. You know, you have all this stuff going on and they might think that Wow, what if she will reject me or he will reject me, refuse? Maybe they are too busy. Maybe, uh, well, I'm not good enough for them because, well, they have everything and everyone feels like you do have other options and they see you being pursued by other people. And the world, you know, the, the girl, actually, this is not a girl. This is the blend of feminine and masculine. And uh, the masculine genitals, are hidden with the scarf and this is the <laughs> the secret this is the blend of the emperor and empress she is a galactic being you know achieving ach she achieved or it achieved its full potential and this is what they see in you that you achieved something you are at your prime you you are yeah, at your highest, at your highest, and I feel it's a bit in, in, it's a bit intimidating for them. Yeah, it feels like they feel a little bit inferior to you, a little bit inferior. Right as well, they see. Look, we have two cards that signify the blending of the opposites and balance. Look right here with this chariot, the blend. Of positive and negative luck and abundance you are in the middle right and right here we have the blend of feminine and masculine Wow you feels like you guys went through something huge through something huge and you coming out of this transformation being ready to find your mission and find your purpose because through this transformation I feel you found yourself and this is this is the chapter that is ending you are being yourself you are knowing thyself right and this is what's ending you know yourself you are at your highest there is a balance in between mind body and spirit you achieved that and now you are stepping into a new beginning where you will fulfill your mission and your purpose when you will find it and you will fulfill it. This is a new cycle that you are stepping into, being purified, reborn as a fool, which is the next card after the world, right? But you are stepping into this new cycle, being yourself the way you intended to be when you got incarnated right you it feels like you healed you purified all the life experience the childhood past relationship experiences all the blocks are moved away dissolved and we have yeah the ending of this chapter you are stepping you know what i feel when this will happen a new journey maybe you will literally relocate to some place a new place i would say within four weeks or four months you know, it depends where you are at right now. Four weeks or four months, there would be the beginning of a new chapter when you will step the first foot into something new. And that would be tangible. 
because you are stepping into this new energy already. You are in it already, you know, but this is something that you cannot see. You can just feel inside, you know, you can feel inside those processes, energies moving around. Your prana is moving around because all the filters are cleared right maybe you are a little bit dizzy at times or light-hearted at times light-headed light-headed at times it's because the energy is moving adjusting recalibrating because you are bigger right now you are more spacious your soul expanded and you have all the light within and right now it's a little bit maybe not comfortable because you you're just not used to this but you will get used to this in four weeks, in four, four months. And something big will come to you, tangible, in four weeks or four months. So they see you being changed drastically, right? Maybe they have been watching you from afar with a world card. Maybe you know this person for some time now. And they saw you maybe being in a hermit mode, right? In solitude, healing, maybe they have known you before this healing process or before something happened in your life that created a huge transformation, a huge change with this Four of Cups. It depends, guys, take how it resonates. It's not for everyone, right? This portion of, uh, of the read is not for everyone. So now let us move forward. Let me use this deck. How you crush or use you? So they see you that you are achieving stuff, that you are su being successful. You are getting after something that you desire to have and it's yours to have. Now let me use this deck. How do they see you? Two of Cups and the Page of Cups and the Lovers on the bottom. Nine of Cups, look at this, the Tower. They didn't expect this transformation. You are vibing differently. You are vibing as this pre-empress with this nine of cups, as someone they would love to to know, to get to know on a deeper level, on a, on a more intimate level as well. That's self-love. This is knowing your own worth, right? You're vibing like a priceless gem, guys. And they feel it, they see it. And now they question whether they would be good for you, whether you would accept this invitation to have a coffee date, to have a drink date, to experience this coffee date or drink date. Look, we have cups once again, and she's having that cup because this person, your crush, feels that, you know, everyone is up to you with this cup that you are just bombarded with love offers, with invitations, people are after you. You have many suitors. Everyone wants to be in your life. Everyone wants to get this energy of yours. Everyone wants to see it in your energy. Drink your energy. Right? It's like, I don't know. This is the freaking goddess vibe, guys. And we have the lovers, and this is their dreams and fantasies. Ah, to get a little bit nasty with you. Look at this. We have two cups and the lovers. Yeah. yeah. This is their dream, to, to be in a union with you, I would say. Soulmates we have. Well, if you believe in this concept, such as soulmates or twin flames, I have actually... Um, I have... a. I have um, a post about soulmates within my community section of this channel. So you can scroll down and read and read about that. So if you are into these concepts, so it feels like this person sees you as their soulmate. If you are not into these concepts, I feel this card could signify, these cards could signify that you guys are a vibrational match. Right, you are a match in regards to your goals, to your desires, to your tastes, to your interests, to your emotional health, psychological, physical, mental health, right, to the capacity of giving of um, um wait a second. 
you are in much inner capacity to give love and to receive love. You know, the spaciousness of your hearts, the spaciousness of your souls, the depth and width of your soul, the, the openness of your hearts. This is how this person sees you, that you could give them what they want and that, they, that you can receive what they have to give that would, you would be able to feel their love, to recognize their love language. This is what I feel. In some ways, you guys, in these ways and many more ways, they see that you are a match, that you are in alignment with each other, that your life somehow would benefit in um, being mixed with each other. Well, I'm trying to express myself, guys, as clear as it's possible for me. All right, let me use this deck. What else your crush can tell us about you? So we have two of cups once again. Look at this, guys. You see this? Wow, wow, wow. And we have five of cups in the reverse. I feel, guys, this is something that is happening for some time. Maybe they rejected you in the past or somehow there was a misunderstanding. Or you rejected them or something didn't work out. I don't know, maybe you guys have been friends or you've worked together or you have been uh, close to each other and something didn't work out because we do have this four of cups of someone refusing the cup, focusing on other stuff, being busy. And here we have Five of Cups in the reverse, which is the representation that someone felt that there was a loss in this connection. Maybe they lost you, maybe you lost them, maybe you lost their contact, maybe you part your ways, relocated, and now you're coming back, or they moved away, or they changed jobs, they changed uh, universities and stuff like this, right? Five of Cups. This is feeling the loss, feeling the grief, feeling the sadness that something didn't work out because someone walked away, went away, traveled away, or whatever. And now there is a chance to reconnect, right? We have Two of Cups and they are very, very optimistic about this reconnection, reunion, reconciliation of some sort. And six of pentacles we have on the bottom. You see, it's like they found you once again. They found the way back into your life once again. Feels like they're thinking about reaching out if they haven't reached out already. Or, you know, they are working their way back into your life consistently with the six of pentacles through, through something tangible such as their actions, their... Um, continuous communication, you know, um, I feel consistency, it's either now or in the future, consistency, and those apples are actions, invitations, conversations, uh, thoughtful dates, experiences, and so on. All right, guys, and let me use this deck now. How do crush views you? Let me know, guys, in the comment section below if you uh, have known each other before, if there is a history in between both of you. You know what I feel? I feel right now I see the image of a crystal ball. It's like they found you, they are able to see you, and we have this clear crystal right here, right? It's like they see you now. You are within their vicinity. Somehow they can watch you. They can connect with you. They can watch your life. Maybe through the social media. <laughs> I, I don't think that they do use crystal ball <laughs> to, to spy on you. Right? But with this clear crystal, I feel they are so happy that the, the channel in between both of you got cleared. The path is clear. And they can connect with you. Maybe that you started to converse once again, to communicate. And they feel this transparency, this even flow of energy in between both of you. There is no more blocks or restrictions. Maybe there were some blocks in the past, such as distance. 
such as uh, other relationships or responsibilities. But now I feel the energy flows without any restrictions. It's like they can feel you. Yeah, they can feel you now. They can feel you. You know what I feel as well, guys? With this clear quartz and the crystal ball, crystal ball uh, vision. If you had some blocks in the past, you know, if you cleared your traumas, if you integrated your shadows, right? If you went through the healing, through the transformation, now they can sense your light, they can sense your energy. And if something didn't work out before in the past, I feel it's because despite of your feelings, they couldn't feel your authenticity or your true self because you have been covered in, you know, in those, in those um, uh, layers, layers of um, of blocks, you know, emotional blocks. I feel emotions have been stagnant and those emotions created an armor around your heart. Most likely the heart was closed because, well, because of many different things, right? You know best what happened. But I feel this armor, this wall, this block was... Um, was creating this uh, disconnection. They couldn't feel you. They couldn't get you. And now the block is removed. They feel you. They get you. And it feels like they themselves removed few blocks in their life. And now we have this even flow of energies. And even if you are not communicating, if you are just watching each other from afar, the energy started to move in between both of you and I feel something will happen in the near future that would confirm my words that they are feeling you now, that they are receptive to your energy right now and it feels like you started to feel them as well. It's a mutual, mutual process. Look, we have the six with the flowers, the six with the six of pentacles, two, two. We have mirroring numbers. 2266, you see, everything is being kind of going in circle in between both of you. And that movement is getting a momentum. Something huge will come out of this. Sensitivity, we have the white Tara. You are becoming increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. So guys, and this is correlating with my initial channeling about you being at times a little bit lightheaded, right? A little bit dizzy. It's because your energy is different right now. It's it, it needs some time to adjust, you know, because you are much more spacious, your soul, your heart right now. And all this e energy this um, life force that that you received from your higher self, from your spirit itself, is being recalibrated within your field right now, right? So it will take some time for you to adjust. So be gentle with yourself and do not freak out when you are a little bit dizzy. <laughs> unconditional love this is how you wipe right now because you gave love to yourself and now you're vibing like this mary magdalene unconditional love and you are attracting true love love yourself others and every situation no matter what the outward appearances may be this is what you learned to love yourself no matter what and we have isis past life this situation involves your past life memories. For some of you, this person could be from your past life or this new lesson is, is another, another thing that you need to learn, right? Because you're growing, you are expanding. Something that you couldn't finish in your past life. You are finishing right now. And I feel it's this circle of finding your true self. You know thyself, you know yourself, 
And that is something that you couldn't complete in your past life. And now you completed it. And now there is the next chapter, a leveling up big time. And we have this Isis, right? And we have this Taurus energy as well. I feel Libra energy. Look, she is the Empress, basically. She has this Ankh sign. This is an ancient Egyptian sign of a rebirth. You are being reborn. You are being reborn, you're ready to spread your wings, the luck is on your side, you are expanding. And very, very soon, your physical life will start to change. Congratulations, guys. All right, so this is what I got for you. Join me on Vimeo and we will look deeper. We will see what will happen next in this connection. If they will approach you, if they will reach out, how this would happen. And we will see how this connection would unfold in the near future. We will get you highest potential of this relationship. We will get you some guidance from the spirit. Guys, join me on Vimeo and we will look much deeper. Alright, so I will provide the Vimeo link in the comment section below. Science-wise, with this can uh, with this chariot we have Cancer, with the world we have fixed signs energies, right? We have Aquarius, Gemini, Taurus, and Leo. As well, with the Slowers we have Gemini, with this Isis I feel um, the Empress energy of the Libra and Taurus, with the White Tara. Well, guys, look at this and you decide what do you think what energies these two cards have within i will give it for you i will leave it for you right um this is all that i have do you consider to like share subscribe i do appreciate your feedbacks your comments your support tremendously for the private bookings, guys, you can find all the information in the description box below. And if you would like to participate in this energy exchange, guys, you can buy me coffee. I, for this, I will provide my paper link in the comment section below, guys. That would be massively appreciated. I send you lots of love. Hello, my precious. If you chose Citrine, welcome. This is your reading. So let's start with your message. Let's see how... Your crush views you. How your crush views you. All right. We have three of emotions, which is the three of cups. We have the tower and another card. I need one more card. One more card. Let's get this one. So we have muse of emotions. So feels like, guys, something happened. Look, and we have ten of inspiration on the bottom and the empress. I will keep this too. So, guys, feels like uh, they see you being empowered, being in your empress mode. With this tower, I feel that they see you going through something quite challenging, quite maybe intense, right? They see you achieving something that you desired to have. You are vibing as this empress. You are achieving the goal of yours. You are on your path. You are fulfilling your purpose. You are on a mission. And that mission is, is in alignment. Is in alignment with your heart, with your soul. You are creating something. And feels like they are quite surprised watching you doing this going through this process i feel they uh, met you maybe through through a friends group your friends group or maybe their friends group with the three of emotions i feel guys uh, maybe it was not planned for both of you to meet feels like it was a surprise for you to get to know them and for them to get to know you feels like there were other people Maybe this was at the, in a pl public place or something because three of emotions, three of cups can signify going out with friends, celebrating something, you know, having fun, doing something fun, um, participating in new activities and fun activities. Maybe you guys went, went just to celebrate someone's birthday, right? And you 
you decided to have some some food, maybe some drinks. With the stream of emotions, feels like you have been with with your friends, you know, maybe with your co-workers even, celebrating something. And they have been with their friends. And this was unexpected for you, I feel. To go there, maybe you had some reservations, maybe you had other plans. I feel pure chance, serendipity with this tower. Maybe they thought not going to celebrate this person's birthday, right? And it feels like this pure chance, this one decision connected both of you with this tower. And they have been struck with lightning. When they saw you, they knew <laughs> that they got that, that they are in trouble. Look, we have this muse of emotions, and within this deck it's the king of cups. They just knew that they are in trouble, that this can lead to something, that they can start feel something for you. Because King of Cups, this person was in control, or at least this person was trying to keep his or her emotions under control, suppressed the obvious. And the obvious was that they... Uh, they liked you immediately. They, 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 maybe this was a, a love at her side. If it's not a love at her side, it could be uh, intense, intense attraction. But this is not the, you know, the toxic one, the chemistry that is created because we lack something within ourselves and we see that in other person and we are being drawn pulled magnetically towards that person because we want those very qualities within us those very traits within us or maybe their lifestyle or maybe their look or something like this right this is how the intense attraction is being created intense chemistry right here we have the king of cups which is the attraction based on, on, on compatible vibration, on emotions. It's safe, I feel. It's safe. And they understood it immediately that, first of all, it would be safe to give in. It would be safe to open their heart because they felt your empress energy, which is pure love, unconditional love, self-love. You see? When... We are self-loving, truly, authentically self-loving. It's safe for people to love us because we treat other people the way we treat ourselves. And if we treat ourselves with self-love, with love, with care, with nurture, with patience, with consideration, with respect, with compassion, without judgment, with support and so on, the very same way we, tr we will treat other people. And this is what this person felt immediately. It's safe to be with you. It's safe to get to know you. And besides all that, with this Empress, you are 10 out of 10 for them. And we have 10 of inspiration, which is within this card, I feel that you are their ideal, their perfect woman. And we have our, our own, uh, you know, our own desires you know we have our own visions of a perfect person because we have different tastes we have different history different background different cultures and different preferences and and so on and so on and so on right and with this 10 of inspirations for them you are 10 out of 10 look we have this 10 people it's like you are having it all within all the qualities that they would desire to see to have in the other person, in their partner, in their romantic love partner, right? You have it all. With this empress, feels like, well, they, they do see you being this gorgeous, amazing, beautiful, you know, this uh, feminine, this um, sensual, this, uh, this sexy person. They love your body. There is something about your hair. Maybe you have pink hair for some of you. 
right? It's that there's something very unique and very feminine about you, very important. They just sense your fertility and not only, you know, the physical fertility, <laughs> right? It's, it's the fertility of your energy. It's the potency of your spirit, of your energy, of your vibration, of everything that you represent by yourself. Every cell of your body is being enlightened, you know, you are glowing up from the within with this self-love. You see this, this, this glow? And this is the divine light of your, your self-love. You know you are the spirit, not only your body, your physical body. And that gives you this tremendous, attractive, magnetic energy. This is how they see you, that they can create the universe with you, you know, they can do anything with you, that you are their ultimate ride or die, their partner in crime. And together you can be the power couple. As well, they see you creating something, as I mentioned in the very beginning. Maybe you are very artistic, you know, maybe you are into arts, you're creating something with the power of your immense imagination. And it's all coming out of love, out of the love within your heart. And this is why it's important. This is why it's in prosperity. Look, we have the elegance of the Libra, you know, balance of the Libra, good manners of the Libra, um, femininity. And we have with this Taurus potency, prosperity and abundance that you destined to achieve to experience and they feel it and they got so so freaking excited when they saw you and you know i feel <laughs> they had this rush within their body look we have this water that they needed to suppress which is emotions the tower first look at this with this tower they saw you within the public setting maybe you have been you know having having food with your with your friends with your girls the tower, they saw you, the lightning struck them, they understood, wow, I am in trouble, <laughs> she is so fine, <laughs> and then we have the king of cups right here, and this is them trying to suppress their, their, this overwhelming energy of the tower, which is not possible for a normal human, well, feels like your person is quite strong. Maybe they have strong Pluto placement in Scorpio, for example. Maybe they are Scorpio. They could be Aries as well. They have Maybe they have strong Mars. I feel they are strong by nature or by the transformation that they um, went through in their life. But they needed to suppress all this tower energy. And can you imagine the tower when tower comes into people's lives, it doesn't matter who the person is, a king or uh, a beggar, the tower will destroy everything, kingdoms, countries, I don't know, legacies, because it's time to get reconnected with the truth, with the true self, with the spirit. Can you imagine the strength of this person who is able to control the tower energy. Wow, this is highly evolved individual. All right, so now we have this King of Cups, which is them suppressing all this flow of emotions, of excitement, of joy, anticipation to get to know you, to get everything about you. And they see you, maybe they uh, strike a st stroke strike a conversation with you. So they, they started to converse with you. They started to get to know you and look at this with a stand of wands. They got, <laughs> they got this burden now, I feel. Because the more they know you, the more they watch you, the more they study you, they understand that you are their dream person. You are their ultimate person, their empress, the empress. And it's quite heavy for them right now, right? Because they just, wow, it, th this was not a spark. This was the tower. Immediately they sensed the importance of this whole situation, right? 
And I feel they, they managed to control themselves, their emotions, because they started to talk to themselves, like, maybe I just imagined things, maybe they're not that great, maybe they're just good-looking, or maybe they're just this gracious, this feminine, this sexy, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not that dangerous, <laughs> maybe it's not that, in a good way, dangerous, I mean, maybe it will not... Um, go anywhere from from this and so on and then they started to get to know you and now they understand they struck freaking gold and the citrine we have citrine is very important stone for wealth for prosperity for abundance right and we have her solar plexus chakra being this uh, open this activated you are this abundance you are this prosperity for this person you are their treasure. They feel they struck gold, right? And this is the confirmation. Now, let me use this deck now. So what else can we tell about their feelings for you? Three of Pentacles and we have the Temperance. Look, we have Ace of Wands. Yes, they are on fire. They do anticipate this new beginning. They are tremendously attracted to you. Of course, this is the phallic symbol, the Ace of Wands, right? They do want to get to know you much better. And look, they watch you when you are not looking. They watch you maybe, you know, on the social media. I feel it's kind of obvious. I don't need to dive into this with this temperance. And two cups we do have. It's like, you know what I feel? The gratitude. They are grateful to the universe that they have done their self-healing work. Because the temperance is basically, it's the alchemy, soul alchemy, the purification, the process of the temperance, right? Of the two liquids, of the purification of two liquids. So they purify themselves and their life. With this tower, there is a chance that they ended something in the past, maybe relationship, maybe other situation, right? They, they are grateful that they ended something, they purified their life and themselves, they cle cleared the space, they created a space for you to enter. It feels like they have been manifesting you and they're grateful. I feel the, the gratefulness, you know? And this is the first step to, to receiving the abundance through being grateful for what one has in their life. They're grateful for their choices, for the choices that they have made recently in the past. They just now know that it was all worth it. All this transformation, all this change, all those new beginnings, separations, maybe whatever. So they know now that it's what it was worth it. Let me use this deck now. How do they see you? We have nine of cups in the reverse and the nine of pentacles. Oh my god, look at this. Two nines. Uh, nine of pentacles. This is the free empress card, right? You know, and you are the empress. You are independent as well. This is the card of being fiercely independent. You know, you are doing well on your own. This is how they see you. You have your own stuff. Things are going well for you, you are prosperous, you are abundant, you don't need anyone, you are happy, and yeah, you, you are just happy, you know, with your life. With this Nine of Pentacles, this is you being independent, but they see you as the Empress, as their Empress, right? Because Empress, usually she is pregnant, she is in a relationship with her Emperor. They see themselves as the Emperor, definitely, with this amount of power and strength, right? Now you are as the pre-empress. You are single. You are independent. You are enjoying your life. You are doing your own thing, right? Creating your own abundance through work, through education, through projects, through your creative endeavors, business ventures, whatever, right? They see you living your good life, loving yourself, enjoying yourself, enjoying your life. You are their wish fulfillment though, right? We have Nine of Cups, which is the card of the wish fulfillment. And we already established that. That for them, you are the one, right? But this wish, this wish is not yet fulfilled because you are not yet their empress. 
They see you as their empress. But you are not there saying yet. You are not there yet. And this is why you are as this pre-empress, independent and single. This is what I feel with, with these cards. Now, let me use this deck. Let us get more. Science-wise, by the way, guys, with this temperance, we do have Sagittarius. We have Libra Taurus energies. As well, we have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? So... If you do not resonate with signs, disregard, because, you know, those are just energies. Boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands own your time and energy. And I feel self-respect and knowing your own worth. They know you. Uh, they see you having strong boundaries of self-respect and self-worth. You will not waste your time. You respect yourself. You respect. You value yourself. You value your time. This this is how they see you. Bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as a lake, river, or the ocean, to recharge your batteries. I feel they are thinking about a vacation. Maybe they want to to visit Caribbeans, or I don't know, maybe a lake in a forest, someplace near your town, near your city. Yeah, I feel they are thinking about some vacation with you for the future. Maybe they have cabin in the woods next to the lake. Or, you know, you have water waterfalls some place near your place of, of... near your location or something. So it feels like they do have some ideas about your future. With this unconditional love, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. And again, this is you giving this unconditional love to yourself. And this is why you are attracting people who do want to give you love. Who, who is capable of giving you love. Who is open emotionally and, you know, <laughs> evolved enough to... To love. All right, guys. So this is what I got for you. Do you consider to like, share, subscribe? Let me know. What do you think about this message in the comments? Guys, of course, I will dive deeper on Vimeo and we will look into the future. How this connection would unfold within the next few months. We will see what will they do. If they will reach out. If they will take any steps towards you. We will get you some guidance from the spirit. So you would know what to do to attract the best possible outcome guys join me on vimeo i will provide the link in the comment section below all right guys so for the private bookings you can find all the info in the description box below and if you would like to participate in this energy exchange through offerings or donations for this course i will provide my paper link in the comment section below that would be massively appreciated. So this is all that I have for you. I'm saying hello, my precious. Welcome to your reading if you chose Rose Quartz. So let's start with your message. Let us see how your crush views you. Let me pull four cards and I will start. So we have five of swords. We have ten of pentacles. Strength. And we have nine of swords, six of water. You are reminding this person of someone from their past. Maybe you know this person since childhood, right? Maybe this is someone from your past with the six of cups. We do have the vibe of, of um, having memories together, childhood memories. Maybe you have been best buddies. Maybe you have been friends. You used to be friends, maybe you haven't seen each other for a really long time, or it's a new person that is reminding you of someone you used to know, maybe childhood, high school, sweetheart, or maybe it's you who is reminding them about someone from their past. You know what I feel with this lost opportunity? Maybe they had someone who was like you, looked like you, right like you in the past, but they had no, um, they had no opportunity or they couldn't get this opportunity to, 
to create a relationship with them, to build a relationship with them for many reasons. Feels like they parted ways with this person. Maybe it's you who is seeing someone from your past in them. With this five of swords, I feel they are a little bit cautious about you and around you as well. With this nine of swords and five of swords, I feel it's a bit triggering for them to see you being so similar to someone from their past and feels like it's triggering that grief, those past memories of this loss, of this lost opportunity, of a heartbreak maybe for some of you. Right, so and they are a little bit tense around you. It's like they're walking on an eggshells. They are trying not to ruin things, not to to say something that you could perceive in the wrong way, right? They, they're very, very careful around you. And with this Ten of Earth and the Strength, which is the Ten of Pentacles, look, with this Ten of Earth, right? I feel they see potential within this relationship. The potential that they could not get achieved had a way towards in the past with their ex-person, with their past person, with someone within their past. Ten of Pentacles is basically having it all, right? Building a strong foundation of friendship, of mutual respect, of trust, creating something stable, tangible, with consistent effort, with investing resources, all, all resources, all kinds of resources, finances, time, energy, love, Ah, and so on. So with the strength, they feel your strength as well. And maybe you do not perceive yourself as a strong person, but you have a power over them. And this is your strength. This is your strength. And the power is, um, is from that past, you see. I feel they had this love towards this person. It was pure love. Maybe it was the first love, the childhood love. Or maybe that person was so dear to them. Maybe they lost this person to an accident or something. Maybe they have been dating this person or something. So, and this is your power that you remind them of that person, of that lost opportunity in love, in happiness, in joy. And here you stand having having something that you that they lost some time in the past right having basically this chance in love in your hands and this is your strength this is your power because in your hands their future this opportunity to experience something Profound. I feel you are dealing with someone who have been single for a really long time with this Nine of Swords. I feel they have been very cautious about relationships. They have been quite guarded. Most likely they have been working on their thinking patterns, maybe with therapists, maybe by themselves on their own. They have been working on something. With this Five of Swords, I feel... They have been maintaining their thought patterns, right? They have been rewiring their brain. They have been changing something within their thoughts, within their thought patterns. They have been changing the, the chemistry of their brain even with the work on their thoughts, right? And it feels like they have been invested quite a bit in this transformation, in this leveling up. And now they, they see you and they feel as if they have a second chance, right? It's like you are this gift, this reward for this hard work of changing how they perceive themselves, right? How they see themselves, how they talk to themselves, how they feel inside. Yeah, they see you as a reward, I would say. As a reward, and they feel that you are so gentle. They see you as this gentle, as this pure divine feminine 
who can't tame their beasts, who can't tame, who can't tame, I would say, maybe they made a decision to be single, right? Uh, maybe they decided that they would never meet someone like their first love, like their true love. And without that, they would not enter a relationship, a committed relationship. And that was out of fear, right? It's their ego that was taking a charge, basically. And we, within the strength, the beast, the Leo, the lion is a representation of our ego, of our lower self, of our animal nature, of our instincts, you know, because... Uh, we we rely upon our instincts, our basic instincts. When we are in survival, we, when we are in fear, the survival mode is being triggered, and we use our lizard part of our brain instincts, fight or flight or freeze modes. And with the strength, you are the representation of this lady, which is our highest self, which is. The strength, the power of our subconscious mind, which is the direct, direct uh, connection with our divinity, with the voice of our higher self, our spirit. And we have this beautiful union of our animal, human nature and our divinity, our higher self, our spirit, spiritual nature. So you are calming them, I feel. You are pulling them out of the survival mode. They're not fighting. They're not, they're not surviving, right? They're not running and they're not freezing, right? They're not freezing themselves. Yeah, I feel, I feel they feel safe within the relationship with you. When they are next to you, they feel peace. They trust you. They feel support. It's like with the Ten of Pentacles. It's like when they see you, maybe they are so relaxed. Maybe they are even sleepy. I feel they just, they just drop into the peace, into this trust in universe, in people, and it's so relaxing. The state of safety, it's so unknown to this person because they have been fighting for some time. They have been in survival for some time. I feel sleepless nights with this nine of swords, anxiety, panic even. I feel the inner tug of war. feels like they are within a competitive field. They have to fight, they have to be aggressive, right? Maybe manipulative. Caught... Uh, throat cutting energy I feel with this five of swords so this is why it's a little bit intense for them to work within this field and then to go back home and to work on their inner peace and balance and with you they feel the safety and they so relax to the point of falling asleep this is what I feel because I'm so sleepy right now I feel this is how they they are when they are with you your energy is so relaxing they're not in a survival they trust you and they are more in coherence in, in they're more in balance and they feel that this could be achieved this ten of pentacles which is the security within their primary relationship Right, I feel this is their dream to have a strong primary relationship, which would be not the business, not the work. I feel it's the family. They want to create this for themselves. I feel this is their dream, their goal. At least used to be, but something went wrong, right? And they for some time lost this goal, lost this vision, and they have been surviving. Maybe they have been perpetuating toxic stuff. They have been Living as a beast, as an animal, maybe uh, they started to to do stuff that was not very beneficial, very good for their health. I mean, maybe they have been partying, 
abusing substances, doing toxic stuff, you know, all sorts of toxic stuff. You know, I feel, yeah, it feels like it was a period of their life when they lost this goal, lost this hope, and they dropped into the survival. They slipped, and now they are coming back to the surface. You are balancing. You are... You are directing them and it feels like it started to happen right before they met you. They started to pull themselves out of that. They started to work on their fears, on these thoughts, right? And with you, it feels like a completion of some sort. Completion of some sort. They see completion with you, with this Ten of Pentacles. It's a huge stop sign for me. The stop of these of these um, behaviors, toxic behaviors. It feels like they started to seize these behaviors, right? Gradually, it started to fade away, right? But with you, they see the huge stop sign because they know you will not perpetuate this kind of behavior. That for you, it's a huge red flag, that you are serious, that you have your boundaries, you have your self-respect, you have your goals with this Ten of Pentacles, right? You want something real. And they know that if they will do something wrong, it would be a huge sign for you, a huge red flag for you. And this is why your energy, your being, your relationship, you in their life is the same as a huge stop sign for their lower self. And now I feel they are working on their lower self even more active. Even more active. This is your strength, I feel. This is your strength. Feels like you are telling them something. What you want or what kind of relationship would you, pre you prefer, right? What are your dreams or goals? And this person is listening. Is absorbing all that and wants to give that to you. Authentically, I would say authentically. So what else? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they do understand that their luck is changing. It's a fortunate meeting. It's a destiny to meet you. It's a fate, Wheel of Fortune. Five of Cups we have, which is feeling the loss, being abundant, rejected, Something didn't work out in their life quite a bit. Maybe they went through a really bad separation. And this is why I was sensing that you could remind them of this person. It's either literally you look like them, you vibe like them or something. Or maybe it's just the opportunity to build something real, real serious, right? This is the grief that they went through. Grief, sadness, desperation, hopelessness. And now the luck is on their side. They are grateful to have this change in their life. And this is the changing point. And they are changing. They are changing. They are stopping this toxic behaviors because they want to, to, to go forward with you, right? They want to seize this opportunity. Seize this chair. Change. Change, chance guys for me it's really hard to talk i'm so sleepy this is i feel this is how they are when they are with you this is how you, relaxing your energy is for them maybe they are looking at you you know through the eyes half closed maybe their posture is a bit um is a bit relaxed maybe <laughs> too relaxed or maybe when they sit in a chair they're kind of melt with the chair, melt into this chair, something like this I feel, because I'm melting, I'm melting and my eyes are half closed, it's like they're sleeping, I don't know, maybe guys you have been intimate recently and they, they finally had a good night's sleep after so many sleepless nights, stressful nights, because I feel they had insomnia when they have been trying to fall asleep all those past memories were were just rushing through their mind, overthinking, I feel, here. And those memories were stressing them out. 
And because of this, they couldn't fall asleep, I feel, until the sunrise for many of them. And with you, maybe they finally had a good night's sleep. They felt safety and feels like they want more of it. <laughs> Guys, I'm sleeping. Oh my god. King of Wands. Yeah, they want to care. They want to give to you a Nine of Cups. Look at this. Yeah, it feels like they do hope that their wish would be fulfilled this time. They felt so hopeless when this relationship didn't work out. And that didn't work out for a reason because they, well, we will not dive into that. But with this Nine of Cups, I feel the hope is restored. Hope is restored. With this King of Wands, of course, there's attraction. But I feel they want to care for you. Take care. I feel you are so gentle. Look, this is them. The beast. The lion. The, you know, the mighty person. Strong person. And we have King of Wands. And this is very strong people we have. With a fire, with a strong fire, with the active feminine, uh, oh, sorry guys, active masculine energy, fire, Leo Aries, Sagittarius, strong people, strong will, passionate people, ambitious people, sexual people, strong, very strong and physically strong, right? Powerful people, empowered people, and so on. Magnetic people, and you are this fragile lady right and it feels like they want to take care of you and they they are amazed how this tiny beautiful fragile thing can have this strength can have this power within to to make <laughs> to make them melt to make them fall asleep you see and they want to give back to you as well through the things that they can do for you physical protection maybe Maybe they do want to protect you physically for some reason. It's like they want to cover you with with, with their body, maybe. <laughs> Literally, they want to, to care for you somehow. They feel as if you are this gentle, this gentle flower. And you need their protection, their support. And this is their desire to protect this treasure. They see the treasure within you. Wow. A lot of tenderness, which is so unusual for them, having them being in a in a beast mode for a really long time. Feels like when they are at work, they are a beast. Maybe they are within a dangerous field, work field, such as police work. Or something maybe even criminal for some of you, I don't know. Or maybe not criminal. It feels like it's something very dangerous, guys. Maybe they are working at a stock exchange. Well, guys, it's kind of something like that. With this nine of wands in the reverse, more Leo, more fire, more strength. But it's in the reverse. Feels like um, maybe you are keeping them at a distance. Maybe you don't want to go public about this connection. Or somehow they don't have an access to you. Maybe your account is blo is private, right? Because it's being visible, being in the public eye, the six of wands, right? Being seen by many. And I feel that you are taking this slow. They respect that as well. Um, I feel they are a little bit impatient or they are getting impatient because they want something to be changed. And they're losing their patience. So let me use this deck now. We have sacred space. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. And I feel this is you. Their sacred space is you. Mother Earth, you are called upon to help with environmentalism. Environmentalism. I feel this could be pertained to the Ten of Pentacles, right? The safety and security of Mother, even. Maybe you are in her sun, or through Capricorn. Compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. Yeah, this is you being compassionate towards them, being within your divine feminine energy. We have the Lotus. Self-care, self-nurture, self-love. 
self-compassion, self-forgiveness, and so on. It's very safe place and safe space to be in. And this is how they feel next to you. And this is how you feel within, I feel. Right? And this is how I feel myself right now because I'm sitting in this energy as well. Well, yeah, they're melting. I feel they're melting. And they want to give back to you something else, at least something that they can give to you as a masculine, as this fire energy. Something maybe that you don't have. Because we do have our strength and our weak spots, right? We are uh, great in one thing and we are not that great in other things. And feels like you are guys quite a match. So I feel the balance here in between Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. All right, this is all that I have. Science-wise, we have strong fire. Leo Aries Sagittarius as well with a wheel. I feel Sagittarius. And we have Earth as well and a little bit of air. So guys... Of course, I will dive deeper on Vimeo and we will look deeper. We will look into the near future. We will see how this connection would unfold within the next few months. If they will take any steps towards you, if this would change somehow, if this connection would unfold. We will look at, uh, the, at the guidance from the spirit so you would know what to do, what to address to attract the best possible outcome for yourself, guys. Um, the Vimeo link would be provided in the description box below, guys. Do consider to like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this message. If you resonate, if you don't, it's all right because it's general. For private, you can find all the information in the description box below. And if you would like to participate in this energy exchange through offerings or donations for this, you can buy me a cup of coffee for this. You can donate through the paper link that I would provide in the description box below, guys. That would be massively appreciated. I send you lots of love. Bye.